Tomorrow, a Zimbabwean hunter will go on trial for helping an American client kill a beloved lion. The American, Walter Palmer, does not face charges. He paid a fortune for a hunting permit. That money is supposed to help conservation, but our Deborah Pata discovered who's really bagging the blood money. Cecil was the star attraction of the Huangi National Park. The Minnesota dentist who killed him said he'd done nothing wrong. He'd paid $55,000 for a legal hunting permit. Cecil was an icon on our part of the industry. Which Emmanuel Fundira heads up the safari operators in Zimbabwe. He told us Americans like Palmer make up the majority of Zimbabwe's trophy hunters. Part of the huge hunting fees they pay is supposed to go to conservation and community projects. Fundira told us it really does, blaming corrupt government officials. It is a problem. It is a really a menace. People are in dire straits and people can almost do anything in terms of selling their souls for a bit of silver. One district council we visited received $158,000 in hunting fees this year, eight times the average salary in Zimbabwe. But villagers like Edward and Gwenya said they hadn't seen any of it. What do you live on? How many dollars? I don't have any. Nothing? Nothing. Not one cent? Not even. He wants to sell his goats for food. For now, he lives off the meager crops he grows. Unlike the villagers, the council's head, Pindling Lube, has running water, and he showed us his thriving sunflowers. We were at um, uh, Sai Huangi today, and with the sun and everything, the crops aren't doing so well there. Hey? They're yeah. really battling. You need to water them. Really? Yeah. But they don't have water. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> In addition to schools and clinics, Nube told us the hunting fees also go to buy food. So why does that, everybody that, say they don't that, have that, food? That, oh, so are you saying they're lying to us? Yeah, of course they are. They're lying to yeah, us? they are. Because there is no one who, who, who will go hungry in this country. It is rare for illegal hunting to be prosecuted in Zimbabwe, but this time the international outcry over the shooting of Cecil the Lion resulted not only in a trial, but a partial ban of big game hunting on some of the farms bordering the National Park. Deborah Pata, thanks Deborah.